Yeah, I believe all we are good is the so we are continuing with our revision on business data analysis and uh, specifically today we are going to look at going to look at a question on uh, capital allowances or investment allowances these are allowances that are granted to an investor on capital expenditure and the main aim is uh, to reduce the tax liability under what you call tax planning whereby investors do claim the capital allowances because we know in accounting we normally provide for depreciation which cut us for loss of value due to usage of property but when it comes to taxation the um, depreciation is non allowable deduction and the main reason it's not allowed because people will use different rates for the same item yeah like a furniture when you depreciate an asset i can choose 10 percent another party can use 20 another party can use five so because of that discrepancy the capital allowances uh, were granted now whereby they normally brings uniformity in taxation where similar assets they will be uh, they will be having similar rates whereby they are classified into several categories whereby we have what we call the investment deduction the industrial building deduction and uh, we have what we call the wear and tear we have the mining allowance yeah, all these allowances uh, the main aim is in order to provide for the loss of value of the item or the capital asset that has already been bought. So in our case, we have a question here. It says, Safi Manufacturing Company Limited started its operation on 1st January 2022, producing soft drinks for the local market. The company acquired the following assets on commencement of its operation. So been given the factory building, plant and machinery, file cabinet, motor vehicle, photocopier, LCD television, visitor's chair, trucks and trailers, computers, labor quota, parking bay, and processing machinery, calculators, water pump. In addition, motor vehicle comprised of pickups to supply soft drinks to the local market. And the main reason they are emphasizing on this is because of whenever we have saloon cars, they are the non-business eh, or the non-commercial vehicles. We know their values are restricted. And currently, they are restricted at $3 million, eh, yeah, for the non-commercial vehicle, the saloon car. The cost of trailers was one point four, And again, here they are emphasizing on these uh, trucks and trailers so the main emphasis is uh, trailers uh, they do qualify for category two yeah because they don't have truck they are not self-propelling the trailers are just being pulled so we are required to compute investment allowance due to Safi manufacturing company limited for the year ended that first december 2022 so i'll start here with, uh, with the investment allowance uh, investment deduction investment deduction investment deduction and uh, yeah just a minute i'll cut this let me paste it here okay yeah the investment deduction and i'll merge that and i'll bold that the investment deduction so i'll have my details here my details and we have what we call the qualifying cost qualifying cost then uh, we shall have the id and the rate for id is 25 percent not 25 but 50 50 percent in the first year of use in the first year of use and then we shall have the residue, the balance residue that way. And I'll pick my items uh, that will qualify. So we know factory building qualifies for ID. Um, plant machinery also qualifies for ID. Hotels file, uh, all these they do not. And processing does not. The other one is water pump. And our qualifying cost, this one had this value. This one had uh, 12 8 and this one had water pump had 12 80. Then we calculate the 50% of that. We multiply it by 50% and I'll autofill this. And our residue will be the balance. We we'll take the qualifying cost minus the ID at 50%. This one will qualify to 25% uh, in, in the subsequent years. And again, I will autofill that. 
In the second category, we calculate the wear and tear. Wear and tear. No, industrial building deduction first. Industrial building deduction. We call it IBD. We shall have the details, the qualifying cost. Here. Yeah. Point cost. Then we have IBD. IBD at ten percent. We have the residue value. The residue value. And here we'll include the total first. Our total here our articles. Yeah, that will be our total. I'll bold. I put top and bottom bottom. Yeah, that way. So here, IBD thing we have only one item, the labor quarters that will qualify for IBD. Yeah, other items that qualify for IBD include the sports pavilion, uh, the staff quarters, the go down or warehouse. Uh, anything to deal with staff, they normally qualify for industrial building deduction. And our qualifying cost for labor quota was 36. We multiply the 10% of it here by 10%. Should be 360. Procedure just minus the qualifying and you minus the IBD. Yeah, and the total, because it's the only one, it will have a total of uh, articles. Yeah, 36. We use top and bottom border. Then you'll go to wear and tear. Wear and tear allowance. Wear and tear allowance. Yeah, still we shall have the details for wear and tear. Then you have what you call the category one. There are two categories. Category one. And for category one, uh, yeah, category one. The rate is 25 percent. 25 percent for category one. We have category two. Category two, which has got a rate of 10 percent. Remember, category one incorporates the items that were formerly in the class one, class two, and class three, and uh, category two, the former class four. So, category one has got three items: the one that were qualifying for class one. Uh, the heavy at the moving machinery, class 2 office equipment of electronic in nature, and the class 3 which was uh, having the other machineries. So all of them, and others currently even are doing the three classes, but each one of them with 25. But you can consolidate them into category 1 and the other one into category 2. And uh, here, the qualifying items, we have the file cabinets. File cabinets. Uh, followed by motor vehicle, followed by photocopy machine, followed by LCD television, followed by followed by visitors chair, followed by trucks and trailer. Shall see that. Followed by computers. Uh, followed by non-processing machinery and processing machinery. And the last one is calculators. Yeah, all these will qualify for wear and tear. So file cabinet qualifies for category two. File cabinet for category two. Uh, motor vehicle is category one at 25. Uh, the same with photocopy. Yeah, office equipment of electronic in nature. But for the television is not a must for it to be in the office. So category two. Visitors chair category two and uh, trailers. So you have been given the value of truck. Truck qualifies for category two, but trailer for category one. The reason truck is not uh, we call it what it's not self propelling. It's just but pulled. So for the trucks will be category one when they give you the two values and the trailers in category two. So here we shall minus. Uh, trucks and trailer we had 9.2 and I minus this value yeah to remain with that value yeah for the trucks 
computers uh, we have 400 and uh, these are the one non processing machinery they will qualify for category 2 at 10 percent calculators their office equipment and uh, they will qualify for category 1 yeah so those are the categorization category 1 and category 2 then we shall have what we call the qualifying cost here our qualifying cost and uh, we shall use alt equals the sum yeah we sum this and i'll auto fill this yeah that is our qualifying cost then uh, we calculate we and here a and here and uh, this one is at 25 percent so the qualifying cost i multiply by 0 0.25 25 percent and i'll auto fill uh, this one so that you have the written down value written down value carry down written down value carry down so this one so for the way and here i'll use a negative sign here even this one uh, i'll use negative because we are minusing that way and uh, for the written down i'll take alt equals alt equals here for the two of them and i'll auto fill again this one and i'll use uh, top and bottom border to complete that and that is our wear and tear allowance uh, here we'll put uh but top border only on that yeah that's how that question was supposed to be done for the capital for the capital allowances yeah remember i've said there are four or five categories investment deduction industrial building deduction the way and tier the mining allowance but the major one are the three of them the investment deduction industrial building deduction and uh, the wear and tier and again to remember category one at 25 category two at 10 and there's no harm of you separating these into three classes each at 25 percent if you can remember the items according to the classes still it will be okay there will be no harm in doing that and that's how that question was uh, supposed to be done and undertaken so remember to subscribe to this uh, channel for more content and uh, revision continues for this uh, unit